what's going on guys? This is Mass, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. They were playing a little bit of Achilles in the, in the solo lane. I, strugg I struggled for a second on that one. I don't know why I thought Hercules and Achilles are the same person. Um, yeah, we're playing a little bit of Achilles. It's been a while since we did Achilles. I think I'm probably talking out of my ass, but I want to say it might have been the full heal Achilles video that was the last one. I'm probably tripping. I'm probably full of shit. That's probably an ancient video, and there's been like 20 since then. Okay, 20 is going to be a bit extreme, but uh, yeah, there's probably been a decent amount since then, but I feel like it's been forever. I only played him for the first time in like months, like the other day, so um, I'm probably pretty rusty, but the other day when I played him, he actually felt like super fun. Uh, we're against the chalk. Oh, God. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a dull lane, boys. Oh, he's actually cheeky with it. I like it. Bop. Give me that warrior stack. That's right. We don't stack this anymore, do we? Uh, by the way, Warrior's Axe got nerfed to shit. I think Warrior's Axe was pretty dominant in the solo lane as far as a reliable start owl, uh, reliable starter item. And they took off the damage reduction, which was a massive nerf. Now you're taking like, God, what, like 15% more damage from minions, something like that, as well as obviously you take more from bluestone ticks. You take more from obviously like literally any source of damage to begin with, but he's also level three for some reason. I guess he got to wave first. That kind of sucks. I hate that right now. Every lane has a problem with that. Why am I getting... I shouldn't be leveling my one. I should be leveling the three. Um, yeah, this will be a rough lane for us for a while. Chalk is like the just kind of win lane by default character. So unless he plays insanely bad, he should win this. We will still poke where he can, though. At least get a little bit of bully back on the man. Yeah, I don't know why he's just eating the one. But yeah, like <laughs> the giant circles that do a lot of damage and then he heals after is is a rough time for us as as is basically every character in solo in so we're mostly just going to try and do what we can to get what we can but other than that we're going to get bullied it's probably gonna be a teleport lane or a teleport game but that's fine though because once we actually get later in the game once we get like our sustain online and more damage online and we get to start rotating out a lane oh god i'm gonna get clapped by a gank aren't i i want to wait for boots i want to be a greedy man but i also don't want to die you know like, not dying would be good. I think he gets ult soon. Does does he? Probably not. He probably gets ult next wave. Yeah, we're going to try and greed for boots if we can before we back. And hope it doesn't cost us anything big. Yeah, once we get out of lane, things should get really, really good. Because Chalk's kind of ass late game. He's like one of the worst characters in the game. Or his Achilles is actually pretty decent. But in lane, we're going to get bullied. It's not going to be fun. And we'll mostly, we'll mostly just try and get back out of lane. Alright, let me get boots. God, I've been I've been becoming a terrible person lately. Um, <laughs> I've been building on multiple characters. I've been building reinforced greaves, and it's disgusting. I know it's absolutely disgusting. I should be reprehended for it. Um, I've been trying it out, man. I I like. I know that a lot of warriors, maybe not a lot, some warriors uh, just don't get enough value out of power boots. But oh my, it just feels wrong, man. You know. I mean, he's really just going for the big bully, huh? He kind of missed his stuff, so I don't, he doesn't really get to win that trade. He probably will in a second, though. We're going to keep going for left clicks here. If we ult through his ult, our trade could actually be nutty, because the mitigation doesn't count for an execute. Damn, he actually let me bully right there. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if we have the damage. I don't know how much his heal does right now. He has boots as well. We're mostly going to keep... If he actually lets me juke his... Uh, his one like that, then we should win lane. What the? How did I eat so much? I actually got that poked right there. All right, we'll start leveling the dash up as we actually should. Nem's not even five yet, so we're probably chilling from ganks. By the way, they mixed up the uh, the scorpion. Oh, I tried to juke it right there. Oh, he's going for the kill, huh? All right, that's actually a decent trade. We got his ult there. He's super low. Potentially get him an execute soon. Yeah, I don't know if we get to do much here. Let's see if we can grab this. Yeah, they messed with the scorpion, so it doesn't work quite the same as it used to. Eh. But we get the healing afterwards now. So it used to be like a two-part thing, and now it's like a full-part thing, where it does have two stages, but you get everything at like the end of that stage. And it's more of a heal and less of an XP reward. I think they doubled the healing rate, too. If he wants to gank, it's actually kind of free. 
Oh, is he going to blue? Oh god, I'm gonna be so late, man. He's not able to kill him, that's whatever. That's fine. See, this is, this is so greedy. I'm staying so long at such a low health. Oh, that was greedy on his part. He actually might just lose his trade. Oh, I'm kidding. And he has his ult back. Fuck me, whatever. And then ult. <laughs> oh my god. Rip me, man. I didn't think his ult was back up. Not that it mattered. I figured we wouldn't get ganked there. That was a really weird gank. He went all the way behind tower to rotate into lane, which might have been five head. If he did that to bait me, he did an insane job. Um, God, where do you go? Mystical? Even though we're behind now? We're super behind off that. That's actually crazy. We lost a ton of farm. Um, yeah, that was actually, like, I thought there was legit no way we were getting ganked because... He, he went behind tower, like he rotated super afraid, and that just makes like zero sense if you're getting a gank. But that's why it was big brain, even though even though I feel like he didn't do that on purpose, because that like, I don't know, that's that's some 4D chess right there. That's some underwater shit, so I kind of doubt that was the strat. And who's warding by fire? What are these boys trying to help me out in lane? The nerve. It's chalk mid, my bad. All right, let's see if we can get his blue timer. What is his ult cooldown? How did it get up that fast? I probably just didn't pay attention. Eh. Man's back in lane. We get timer. It should be similar to our timer. We probably don't get it. Yeah, especially with Hebo down there. Yeah, man's a full level ahead right now. Which is funny because I feel like we've actually played way better. It just doesn't really matter. He's just shock. I'm trying to set up for Hebo right here. Unfortunately, we don't get that stun. If Hebo has a little bit more damage, I gotta back off. Oh no, Hebo. Yeah, we had to not die to Nem there. What do you mean, okay? I literally die if I push up with you. <laughs> you got greedy, man. She was on the ward. You literally killed yourself, dude. You could see as much as I could. Unfortunate she gets that blue. Not ganking left anymore. I'm sorry, dude. Let me not int. My bad. Alright, let's actually get our teleport off here. Um, I think we get kind of fucked on without blue, but Achilles doesn't have super bad mana problems, so I don't know how much is actually going to matter. As long as we survive- why is he building Void Shield? As long as we survive the lane, we'll be chilling late game. Especially with this mystical mail, it's going to be juicy. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it was a good gank, he just chased too far. <laughs> I don't know why he thought I would keep chasing. Like, there's legit nothing we do there if I chase with him. Either Nem just kills me while he's on cooldown, and then kills him, or, uh, or I, like, back off, and exactly what happens happened. Yeah, he's got Void Shield, so once we get Mystical done, we actually might be able to win lane. I don't know if it'll matter, because if he, depending on his leveling order, it won't matter. Because if he levels his three, you kind of just can't kill Chalk. My god, he's two levels up? Well, that's gross. That's kind of rude. Yeah, actually, honestly, dude, I swear, high res needs to rebalance how mana works and smite. They do it very little every once in a while. I mean, he's going to get it. <laughs> Wait, can I get it? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was so stupid. I took so much damage for that. Um, That's whatever. So yeah, I'm going to watch out for Nem ganks again because she's liking left lane so far. I'm honestly really not trying to poke that much. I just can't get to the archers, which kind of sucks. I wanted to full clear those. All right, I hope we get our blue. I feel like they might invade it. I'm actually going to ward really weird right here, just in case. You're not going for it? I get it? Well, thank you, boys. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm trying not to lose our tower if we can and not lose out on too much farm, so I'm playing kind of greedy right now and staying around at low health, even though we could be going back to get mystical already. All right, there we go. Let's go get mystical done. Yeah, if he levels his two after his one, then I think we actually might be able to win lane at this point, uh, especially now that we have blue buff again. But if he doesn't and he levels the three, then I think we just don't do anything and this lane starts to stall a lot more. Because Chalk Heal is absolutely disgusting. I don't remember how much it does at max rank, but I want to say it's like 500 or something. It's absolutely absurd. Um, so, so like at that point, it's just he's not taking damage. It's like season, season 7 solo lane. With good old classic Warrior's Blessing. Nice, we got all the gold. What? Really? Really? Are they actually... I, I'm not buying it. If I die, it's on me, but, like, why... What? I, don't, I don't know how they gank me here. Yeah, I don't know, that was random. I guess they rotated left. You know, now that we're starting to get a little bit more farm and actually getting our damage online and stuff, we're gonna start looking to gank mid. I'm not ganking left anymore? What? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand if this is lag or if he's just still triggered. Oh my goodness, man. I hate games like this in solo. It's because we're against the chalk, but like when it gets boring, I almost like don't want to upload these games just because it starts boring, but it's literally how the lane is. So it's stupid not to, you know? Like I could feed this game and I wouldn't even care, but just the fact that we don't like have action really kind of sucks, you know? But that'll change. We have teleports. So we can, oh, where the hell is she? All right, can we at least clap the new awe? Can we clap anybody? We gotta turn on Kabrak and she's too deep. Alright, well, definitely losing left tower. Here we go. Where are you going, bud? Oh, that was a waste. Let's see if we can clap the, uh, them here. Ow. I gotta be careful of Nuwa. Now we're good. Let's see if we can stack them for heals. Oh no, she actually got him. Please die! He's so low! <laughs> oh, if she didn't hit the three, we would have won. Oh my god, if we got to juke the three out there, we actually would have clapped. Look at this dude AFKing and split pushing. Are you kidding? I'm gonna lose T2? That feels shit. That's fine. That was honestly worth. The fight went really bad, but it would have gone insanely bad if we weren't there. So that's worth. Like I think everyone literally just would have died and we would have gotten no kills. So it pays off even if we don't get the if we, even if we lose both towers. I mean, especially if he ints for the tower. Oh, never mind. He made a, he made a god play. Okay, they've got um let's see they have two knockups. I think Stone of Guy is okay here. They don't have a ton of knockups. They got some knockups. But we'll grab Guy cuz it's OP. All right, well, teleport just died as a relic. <laughs> as a relic, we can't even go back to late anymore. I guess we can TP to Phoenix if shit gets real bad. But that's about it. Ironically, he didn't get that much farm. We just straight up like left probably three plus waves. Probably more than that. We probably missed four waves right there. And we're actually still only a level down somehow. I guess because we got kills. So that's cool. Oh, I'm a leveling the ult. It's kind of a bot play. Yeah, I'm hoping, I think we win this late game. We've got a Kepri, plus we have Hebo Jungle. Their Chalk's gonna fall off super hard. I guess maybe that's it. Actually, both our late games are pretty nuts. Their Chalk's gonna fall off super hard. I'm hoping that'll be enough. Yeah, fuck off, Nem. I guess we'll just go get Stone of Gaia done. Yeah, Mystical actually feels really good to me this season. I think um, partially due to the cooldown reduction change on blue buff, where it's pretty easy to get 20% cooldown blue buff in the late game. I think it's a lot more viable to not build cooldown on a lot of characters, and Achilles doesn't need cooldown super badly to begin with. Um, but it's a lot more viable on different characters, and so going mystical for like pressure versus breastplate stands out a lot more, because you're not missing as much cooldown. All right, uh... Yeah, they're going to get rotated on. Hopefully they just actually dip. There's the boy. If they hit this tower, we're fucked. God teleport. <laughs> All 
All right, do we get to kill him? Man, man is a little bit out of position. All right, well, now he gets the tower. Come on, I can stop. I don't know what happened to Susano. That's a fat heal. Hang on, we got a blink in a sec. I'm chasing her down. Nice. I'm not ganking left again. Hebo, get out. Don't fall back on your words, man. Not now. Alright, um, let's do some camps real quick. Before you start backing for stuff. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about with soul lane. This is what I dislike about the lane right now. Um, and it's, you know, it's a problem it's had since season five. Um, so it's still somewhat here. And this is mostly, this isn't even that much of a season problem. This is mostly just chalk as a character problem. But, but when the lane stalls out early game, it just like, you go from basically doing nothing. You still make plays and stuff. You, you know, like you do things not to feed and to like secure farm. Like there's still plays you make. They're just not like very exciting plays. It's like pretty... I don't know, pretty dull mechanics, I guess. And then as we get later in the game, we go from, did we start 02? No, we started 01, I guess, because the death was to Nuwa after that. Um, but we go from just 01 doing nothing for like 10 minutes to now we already have been a part of four kills and we have three kills. And it just changes that fast literally just because we rotate out a lane. So I want to have like more lanes like that, man. I want more aggression. And Season 8's done a great job of that. They've added so much back. There used to be, like, none in the in the past three seasons. But there's still a little bit of stuff where it just feels like some characters are, like, tuned in a certain way where it's just, like, so dull to play against them. Like, Chalk is. Like, Nike is. And I love Chalk. Like, I love... Like, Chalk Jungle is super fun to me. But that's also building him damage and not building him tank. And I just, like, I don't know. I wish, like, his sustain wasn't so dull. I'm coming, boys. Nah, we saving the bug. I can't use this through a wall. What am I doing? Damn, she's done so late there. Alright, good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Oh god, can I actually get him? Can I weave it in? I can. Uh, we're just gonna turn on shock. Get back here. Oh, he beads it. What a gamer. I don't care about this damage. Where'd you put him? What? What? <laughs> I res. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh my god, I actually, I have not felt more cucked in a while. That was insane, man. I've seen that before on, uh, on High Molt, maybe. Nuwa, don't you do it. Don't you do it. You little shit. She tried. She tried her hardest. Um, yeah, on High Molt, maybe that's the only one where it'll bug out like that. But I, it's so obnoxious, dude. I think it does it on Arthur Ult, too. I think Arthur Ult's a similar thing. It's some sort of, like... They've got their weird little banishes. I think they've got, like, a variety of banishes with some of the newer, like, ults and stuff they've put in. And, uh, yeah, it'll bug out like that sometimes. And, you know, obviously it looks like, hey, he's on the ground, let me kill him. And then he's not, and you just feel fucked. Alright, we're gonna try and get level 20 real quick. Because Warrior's Axe is busted. Or, uh, what is it, Sundering Axe? Yeah, busted. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even look. So, yeah, yeah, busted. I don't know why I hovered over it so little, I couldn't even tell what it said. And I was like, yep, that's what it's called. Eh, can't even pick that up. I took red. Anyways, getting back to a super old point that I brought up early in the video. I don't remember why I got distracted. Probably just because I'm ADD as fuck. Um, one thing that I really hope Hyrez like works on soon and makes a point to work on, because it's like, it's really good game design and it's very like, very like minor changes that make a huge difference is mana cost and smite because especially early game our i want to say our mana cost on achilles were something like 40 for dash 40 for heal 
and either 40 or 50 for our one. I do not kill this thing. This is such a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> it is half health right now. Um, but it's like, they're crazy low. And a lot of other characters are going to be like more like 50 or 60 or something. And that difference means you're running out of mana like one and a half times faster on those characters. And that means that you can only use like, you know, two thirds of the same abilities as like Achilles. And then Achilles like wins lane because he has more mana and stuff like that. There's different characters that have like huge mana advantages and I actually hate it. If it's something that fits the kit, if it's like Thanatos has low mana cost, that makes sense. Thanatos loses health. There's shit like that. And obviously like switch dancers should be lower because they're using more abilities so they don't just run Oom. Uh, but like a good example I can think of that was like bugging me the other day is playing tier. I want to say all of his abilities cost 50, 55 mana rank one. And I don't remember if they go up or not. Um, but that means early game to use his kit, he has to blow 200 mana, which is a shitload. And then he also has low cooldowns. Um, so, so like, he's like constantly just like running Oom early game. And it's really, really lame because you basically just can't fight other people. Anyways, a lot of you guys probably don't care. I'm probably ranting about something that like very few of you care about, but. <laughs> but it bugs me and I want it different. And we can probably F uh can we? Never mind. I thought we were like way ahead and we're actually a little bit behind. I don't understand how. I want a five head teleport, but I don't think it really does anything. I want to teleport to Duo Lane Tower. Sure we're basically closer here. On my way. Whoops! Well, I kinda thought we'd hit that. Would have been good. Yeah, look at the chalk heal, man. Oh my god. That thing is disgusting. Yeah, we should do gold. I guess part of it's just tanks late game, though. Because I, I, like, I ate chalk axe just now, and you really can't tell. <laughs> Although that might be, uh, that might be Kepri passive. I don't know. Yoink. Good stuff, boys. Oh, Nem. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You stop it. You stop it. I'm big brain baiting right here. Look, they're going to come behind her, and they're gonna. she's going to run right into him. I, that is not at all what happened. Whoops. Oh, he knocked him away. It's fine. Yeah, I was trying to read stun there. That's why I ulted in. But it still worked out. Oh, my God. Warriors X, let's go! Oh, by the way, one thing I figured out the other day. I wasn't recording, so I didn't get to tell you guys about it. Um, some of you probably have already learned. Uh, Warrior's Axe procs on Mystical, and it's the dumbest shit, and I love it so much. They might have fixed it, actually. It could be it could be a bug they've already fixed. I don't know. Because I think when I found out about this, it was at least a week ago. But it's hilarious, man. I love it so much. I literally, like, I remember memeing on somebody. Oh, I think we're dead. Capri somehow save me. Wait, Heim? Man, actually save me? All right, looking at the map pays off, boys. I'm coming for you, Papa. Don't you worry, Heim, I'm coming. Nope. Nope, not farewell. What's up? Oh, he actually tried to... <laughs> I didn't realize he was trying to kill the ward. I thought he was trying to kill Heim. Bop. That sucks, man. I tried to get to him. <laughs> Why did he both spam question marks? <laughs> what? What happened there that was so questionable, my man? Look at the... D oh my god, that warrior's axe is so juicy. It basically gave me a third three right there. Yeah, I actually... I gotta test this at some point soon. If I can do it without killing myself, that'd be great. I wanna walk up and make sure it still works. The mystical on warriors thing. Let's see, did this die or did they sentry? Like Alright, we'll dip out. We need to build some more. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Never mind. I'll shut up. <laughs> I was gonna say we really need more defense in this build. But we're literally building into mantle, so I think we got that problem solved. Yeah. I really hope that the Warriors get some uh, some more Relic, or not Relic choices, some more starter choices for upgrades um, that feel a little cooler. Because I think Warriors is really fun. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm full. Oh, that was actually disgusting. I just stole it with the auto-cancel. Eh. 
Eh. Ow. If you could get out of my way, that'd be great. Why did she ult me, man? What? Get off my man. Eh. All right, we really, we really need our Hyman in these fights. Although I don't know, I guess they don't have a Huyi. It doesn't matter. I guess we're just losing the fight. Can you not? Can you not? I think we're chilling. Oh, Hebo. Oh my God, that was greedy as hell, man. All right, it worked. <laughs> I don't know why she backpedaled into me. It's really weird. I'm trying to zone here. I'm trying to distract. Okay, it did not at all work. Look at the warrior seal right there, by the way. That's nasty. I think we're dead. I, wait, did I just get it? I think I just got it off mystical just now. I just got a fat heal. What healed me so much? Unless it was... Look at these heals, dude. 275 is absolute... That was BM. That was BM and I'm sorry. <laughs> 275 is so disgusting to just heal up in a fight. We're about to get old. This is actually about to get really good. Chalk. He's going to get out. I don't think we need to... Yeah, we don't need to ult it. Look at our health, man. Oh my god. Is full heal Achilles back? I actually need to try this now. We need to go Soul Eater. God, what was that old build? Soul Eater, obviously we need to go Warrior's Axe. Was it literally... So I guess... It, oh, it was old Glad Shield. We can't do it anymore, can we? It's not the same. We'll have to do it with somebody. This is absolutely disgusting. The amount of brawling we get right now. They don't have, like, very much pen, I don't think, yet. Hang on, we gotta... Yeah. Let's not choke the FG if we can. I think it might be a little late for that. Nice. We can get him a little bit lower. Dead boy. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna try and not die to the new- yeah, let's not die to that if we can. Let's TP back in. Damn, we're actually slapping right now. Jesus Christ. This is disgusting. Yeah, like I said, Achilles late game. Does some stuff. Not bad, not bad. Now we actually get to do the FG. <laughs> this a warrior's axe, though. I haven't gotten to play with it that much. Um, a lot of the games I've had it on, I haven't gotten to brawl as much, so it's not nearly as fun. Can you not? Um, yeah, I haven't gotten to brawl as much. So, like, having these fights where we're getting... Poor Hebo just got, like, bullied in those pools just there. <laughs> by that dead Cabracken wall. But where we get to keep spamming stuff. I think that one little brawl that I just stayed in for, like, minutes. I probably healed well over 1k health and did over 1k damage. Just from Warrior's Axe, which is crazy. And that's, like, um, Infused Sigil is kind of a meme item right now that I've been having some fun with. And that right there just shows how shit it is com compared to Sundering Axe late game. My god, man. You have to eat cooldowns and then be in someone's face and hit them with the proc. Or you can just have Sundering Axe and do basically the same thing every 10 seconds. Is it every 10 or is it every 7? It is every 7. That's crazy. Yeah, that probably needs a nerf. Nem. See, for a second there, I was thinking, am I getting too greedy? I'm probably going to get picked. But then I remembered I had Sundering X, so I knew we were fine. What the? Speaking of which, do you not know what this item does? In all fairness, I guess I just learned how broken it is, so maybe maybe she shouldn't know. Oh? Hang on, do I get up? Oh, the archer actually might have saved his ass right there. I was going to blink on him. All right, let's get some towers, boys. Sup? I might be eating a little too much. <laughs> I just kind of dove into the team. <laughs> oh. I gotta try not to die real quick. I might have gotten too greedy right there. That might have been a shit play. Wait. Oh, I missed the stun light. We, I think we kill him if I don't with it. Is he dead? He's dead anyways. That makes me feel better. Come here. Get some axe on you. Bop. Bop. <laughs> eh. 
Ow. I guess we're chilling. Oh my god, did we just win? Alright, I think Hebo just did a shitload of work. I'm not even sure. Nem, what's up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Hebo has a quad. I'm gonna say he did some work. Alright. Well, we didn't get a confirm. Um, but... With the whole, with the whole Sundering Axe mystical thing. I don't think I ever got a spot where I could tell for sure. Easy top kills, fuck you, missed. <laughs> I can't tell when he said that I'm not ganking left again. I felt like there was a lot of salt in those words. So I can't tell if he's memeing or if he's like, yep, I mean it. I feel like he's memeing, right? No one's, no one's that petty. He's gotta be trolling. Um, holy shit, we did a lot of damage. Yeah, Hebo did work though. Apparently Chalk has mental issues, so... That doesn't sound too good, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. That was our first look at Achilles in forever, man. It's actually funny. I had so much fun with this guy when he came out and I haven't touched him in the longest time. Uh, not in a sexual way, like in a general way, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.